Hey there, welcome to Museums.com. My name is Steve Harris. Let's take a look at the simple scrolling text box widget, which just allows you to build this little scrolling window directly within your Muse site. So if we jump into our Muse file, I'll show you how to set this up from scratch. The first thing we need to do is let's just go down to the Muse Teams toolbox in our library and drag out the simple scrolling text box onto the canvas. Once you do that, you can see that you have this huge options file panel. And the reason it's so big is because we need to use these boxes to actually input our text. Now, one troubling thing about Muse is that it limits the number of characters that you can put in each box. So that's why we've included five of them all the way up so that you can put a substantial amount of content within the widget. So let me close this in the background here so we have a little bit more room to work. And let's go ahead and style this box. So the first thing we need to do is let's just drag the frame size to be the size of the box we want to see in Muse. Okay, once we've done that, we can go ahead and we can place in our content or paste in our content into these boxes. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to use lorem ipsum text and I'll just go ahead and copy what I had before here, jump back into Muse and let's just paste this into the three boxes. One, two, three, and we'll actually do all five, four and five there. Okay, so now Muse is going to try and generate a preview. You can see it's done a little scroll bar, but you can't actually grab the scroll bar unless you preview in the browser. So let's go File and Preview Page in Browser. And once we do that, we'll scroll down to the text frame area and you can see how easy it was to set up. So this will achieve what most users want to do with this scroll bar. We've also built in a few extra little options here just so that you have some control over the styling. If you look on the options file out here, we have a border weight option, and this will just put a simple border around the text box. We also have border style. So there's a couple different border styles that are common on the web today. We have one called, uh, for example, the dash style, which is basically just a simple dashed line. And of course, we can change the border color directly within this widget by changing the hex value. The last thing that we have some control over here is the padding. And what the padding is, is basically the space between your text and the outside of the frame. So this is done really tight at the moment, but if we up this padding to say 25 on all of the options, Muse is going to regenerate a new preview and you can see how we have more space around the box. Now, the one thing I, I do wanna stress is that when you change the padding, it can drastically change the fitting of this box within Muse. So as much as possible, try and just leave the padding and the border options as minimal as possible, and perhaps you can style it externally by just using other elements directly in Muse. But if we preview this in the browser, you can see that the border properties show up right, and then of course we have our scroll bar here. So that's it for options for the simple scrolling text box widget. Now there is one thing I wanna say in that, you're not seeing a lot of this on the web nowadays. Um, it's kind of reminiscent of the days of frames where you've got scrolling within scrolling. So I would urge you to use it minimally if possible. And because I don't see a huge use for it right now, I'm going to release this widget for free on our widget vault. So you can download it directly at musewidget.com under the toolbox files. That's it. Thanks again for watching and good luck.